Hey, Tom here again from the Blue Root team. Here to continue our Zoho Expend series. This time I want to talk a little bit more about the reports that you can get from Zoho Expense. So as a pre-qualifier, Zoho, if you're familiar with Zoho CRM, Zoho Expense is a little bit different when it comes to reports in that it gives you predefined reports, but not so much this drag and drop editor that you might be used to in Zoho CRM. Zoho Expense much more closely follows Zoho Books, where it's a series of reports, very useful reports, that you have access to, and that's what you're able to use. So let's dig into exactly what those reports are and how we can manipulate them and use them. So along your left-hand side here, you'll just go to analytics right here. So let's click that. I'm gonna make my guy a little bit smaller here. And as you can see here, these are your predefined reports. So I won't go through every single one of them, but I'll go through the high level of what's involved in each of these sections and what kind of data you can expect from each of them. So starting here, expense, this is kind of your main one, and it just gives you all of your expenses, but by different categories. So for example, expense details, that's kind of everything. The next common one is expense by user or expense by category. So you can see how we can really start digging into where our expenses are allo being allocated or which categories are using the most expenses, it gets very easy with these types of reports. If I can continue down the list, you can see a, a very common one here is expense policy violations by user. So that could be something useful to you. And then other things here are just different ways to break up that expense. So by customer, by attendee. So an attendee can be an internal person or it can be a client, but someone who's taken part in that expense. Other things here is by projects. And we'll show you how to do that in a later video, but you can start classifying your expenses by project so you can see exactly how much you've spent per project. So that's the first part here is the expenses. Oh, and I clicked that by accident, I'll go back. Next part here is budgets. So if budgets is part of your policy, you can start seeing, okay, this is how much was budgeted, but then this is how much I've actually spent. And so that's what this one is here. Activity, this is a very useful one. I'll actually click into it just to show you. You can see what everyone's doing in the system. So this can be a good way to see, hey, who's using the system? Or it can be a way of saying, hey, who's the leading expenses? And getting to the bottom of weird activity that you're seeing. And so you can see here, there's a ton of activity. You can go through and get all the details there. Let's go back to analytics on the left here. So I'll click back here. And actually, I'll just click here. And this will get us back. Continuing through, so we talked about expenses, now expense reports. So if you remember in our earlier videos, there's the distinction of an expense and expense report. Um, and this is where you can see it a bit more rolled up, your data a bit more rolled up. Tax reports, so this one here, you can just see how much taxes you've been paying on certain expenses. So that's what that would be there. Reimbursements, so if you have approved expense report and you've reimbursed that, you can see once again, all of that data by user, um, or awaiting reimbursements by user. And then finally, corporate cards. So if part of your organization, you have a corporate card and you're recording those expenses, you can see the expenses by those corporate cards. Now let's click into just one of these reports and see exactly what we can start doing with them. So I'm gonna do expense details. It's a very common one and has a ton of stuff here. So a couple things on this screen to point out. First one, obviously, is your data here, and this is a straightforward one. But let's get into some of the cooler stuff. So the first one here is customizing your report. And just to be clear, the report is not an expense report. A report is actually what you're looking at here. This is a data report. So I click here, and this is where you can really start customizing what you're seeing. So the most common one being a date range, I could put in, you know, maybe include more expenses back to September. I can see the cat status of them, the category of them, which policies they've been associated with. And if you don't like any of these things here, I could always click and say, actually, do you know what? I care more about um, which customers it's associated with. And once again, you can filter it. So there's really no limit to the filters that you can do here. I can also show and hide certain columns. So you can see here on the right, all the columns that are currently in the report, but maybe I wanna add something. I can say maybe I want status. I can just hit the plus button 
And then maybe I no longer want status and I can just hit that minus button there. So that's the first part is this customized report. The other things here are just ways that you can view this. So the first one being export as, so getting it as a PDF or an XLS file, printing it. So this clicks it and you're able to print right away from your computer just by hitting that print button or scheduling the report, which is one of my favorites. So you can say, hey, I wanna see this expense detail every single month or maybe every single quarter. And you can do that very easily. You can say, I wanna do it monthly. It's gonna come out on the first day of the month at whatever hour, and who's gonna receive it? Well, I want myself to receive it, so Tom will receive it. I can put people who are not in my organization, so if you have a third party um, expense management company, you could put their information in here. And then you can just say, do you want it as a PDF, a CSV, or an XLS? And by hitting save, now that will come every month to me on the first of every month. So that's the very brief overview of reports. You can see here by clicking this, I get a ton more information about the analytics that I have. Well, at least a kind of quick sidebar or toolbar to see my different reports. So please try using some of these analytics. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out to us directly or leave comments in the video below. Thanks a lot. Thanks for watching this video. Please be sure to subscribe to the channel and leave any comments in the section below.